Solyndra is a provider of solar systems for commercial and industrial rooftops. Headquartered in Fremont, California, Solyndra is a past winner of a PRISM award for its unique cylindrical solar collectors. The company is frequently in the news due to both the huge potential and the many uncertainties of the solar market. President Obama visited Solyndra in 2010, and in early 2011, so did SPIE. Corporate Communications Director Dave Miller showed us around Solyndra's brand new manufacturing facility. Unlike most factory tours, this one started on the roof. Here on our rooftop at our Fremont headquarters, we have 1.23 megawatts of installed panels. It's a mixture of our, our current newest panels and some of our older panels uh, we've installed on the roof. Uh, it's a quiet, clean power plant right on the rooftop here next to 880. It's enough power to power our office building here. And uh, we think you know, distributed solar is really the way to go. You don't need to build power lines out of the desert or anything else. It allows you to generate the power where it's needed right here at the source. Because of the cylindrical shape, offer, it works like a, a tracking system where as the sun passes over during the day, it follows over the tubes and then they're flat. They can be off axis. So on a typical roof, this roof, for example, uh, north-south would be this direction. It allows us to place the panels in, in the most convenient fashion on the roof, but still generate energy off the rooftop because of the, uh, the cylindrical shape collects sun during the day from all directions. Once inside, the first things you notice are the robots that are integral to the production process. Well, the product is not handled by um, people throughout the factory. It's highly automated. Um, the, the, the panels move through the factory on either the overhead conveyor system, you can see this system here which allows the product to move all the way through the factory and across the factory, and as we get down below you'll see the smaller robots which allow operators to move equipment. If for some reason there's a jam or something in the, the, the overhead system, they can move individual uh, panels throughout the uh, factory. Solyndra expects the annual production run rate to reach approximately 200 megawatts by the end of 2011 and eventually to exceed 300 megawatts. During the tour, Dave talked a lot about the ability to monitor each tube individually throughout the manufacturing process, allowing Solyndra great oversight on the quality of every panel they ship out. First, he explained the inspection process for each glass tube that eventually becomes part of a Solyndra panel. We bring it in, it comes in, it's then inspected by the tool. It's looking for cracks or chips or things that might cause a quality problem. The tubes then go through, they're sorted out, the bad tubes are sorted out and recycled. The other tubes then move into the fab tool where they're cleaned, processed, and begin the uh, coating process and go into the factory. Essentially, we start with a, a clear glass uh, tube which is built up in four layers. We coat the layers of the materials, which you can see here, the copper, indium, gallium, and uh, selenide layers. They're deposited and targeted onto the materials. We then use a scribe tool, and we scribe the individual solar cells into the tube, and eventually a single long scribe line cuts the, the, the cells into the individual solar cells on the tube. There's also a, a, the laser and optical metrology where we, we measure the thickness on the tube, so we use the opportunity while we're scribing it to measure the the thickness and make sure that the tube was uh, uniformly coating and everything else. So it's performing both a, a scribing step and a metrology step, which allows us to, uh, as the tubes go through, understand and better characterize the cells. The challenge, uh, engineering challenge, of course, to coating a, a cylindrical surface was different from the semiconductor processes of building it up on a flat wafer. We have to build these layers uniformly on the tube. So every tube, as it goes through the plant, is monitored. There's an RFID tag on the tray that goes with the tube, so every single tube uh, we can trace through the tube and understand what's happened to it. So as part of our testing, we do a light simulator. So this is using LED lights to simulate the, the sunlight on the tubes. So you can see the multicolored lights doing, they flash the tubes so we know at this stage in the manufacturing process how it does in different levels of low light or high light. We run it through a different light cycles, which allows us to determine the um, the ultimate you know, wattage coming off the, the panels as we sort the tubes through the process. So we check them here in the final, before a panel is finally put out in the field, it gets a final flash test, which verifies that the, the total panel uh, wattage is what we expected or, or as the individual tubes match up. So this allows us to see how each, uh, each tube performs in, in both low light and, and regular optimal sunlight. It's clear that Solyndra has the manufacturing of its product down to a science. 
But how about the science behind their technology? The highest efficiencies we would see would be in like the 15%, typically right now, a, a tube. And, and, and to, to measure that, because we don't measure it in a conventional way, you would have to kind of cut it open. And, and we think like if you were to cut it open and lay it flat, we're typically in the 12% range right now. Uh, 12, you know, we're in, in raising that over time. We do optimize the power coming off by looking at the, the cell pitch and the width of the solar cells. We looked on our newest product, we slightly widened the distance between the, the cylindrical modules, which changes the optical properties. It allows them to uh, get more light during the day and the shoulders of the sun going over raise the panel a little bit more, which gets us more reflected light. So it's, it's, it's incremental design changes like that we're making all the time. Due to the rapid evolution of the market for solar power, Solyndra faces a lot of challenges, but the company seems undaunted by them. In fact, they feel they will overcome the additional costs associated with manufacturing their product entirely in the United States. Our goal is not to compete so much on panel price. Clearly, we have to lower our panel price uh, to stay in the competitive range. But when you look at the balance of system costs and the actual cost of the electricity coming off the roof, we are competitive now and we believe we'll continue to be competitive because of our ability to go in uh, quickly with uh, low installation costs without tools. So the installations uh, go in very fast and very economically. So when you look at the total installed cost of the power, uh, we compete head to head with those uh, other things. Um, we would like to, of course, um, you know, we, we see our, we're very proud of our Made in America status. We're very proud that we're made here. And, um, you know, we think that's an advantage in some markets. Clearly, we can't, you can't compete just on that. But we think it's a benefit. And we think um, some of our customers appreciate that fact and the fact that we, you know, are creating clean jobs here in the United States. As solar becomes uh, more accepted by the financial community, we'll see less of a need for tariffs. We also, the price is coming down very fast. We've cut our prices in half uh, over the last few years. You see the price um, going down and we'll, we'll continue to, to go down that path. The ultimate goal is, is by 2013, we're at a point where the, the cost on the roof is in like a $2 range, which for us in the commercial realm is at grid parity uh, with where we believe retail electricity rates will be for a commercial installation. And that at that point, you, you don't need an incentive structure because then the systems will compete with conventional energy, which is sort of the holy grail of solar all along.